Welcome everyone to the channel. How you all doing? I hope you all doing well. So today we've got a dev blog, and this is a very interesting dev blog. It's been causing some speculation on the interweb. So we're gonna we're gonna go through it. We didn't want to know what it. Everyone knows what it is because I did see there's a video up on YouTube from War, War Thunder. So uh, this is from their site. So yeah, I'm stealing some stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just sharing the information out. Um. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, share, and subscribe, guys. Please, subscribing is the most important things. This month, the channel has been going slow. I don't know why. We get subscribers, we lose a subscriber. We get a subscriber, we lose. I don't know what's going on. So, yeah. But let's play the video, and then we'll read a bit through some interesting facts, yeah? So, yeah, I haven't listened to it completely yet, but I'll listen with you guys and watch with you guys. This might be a bit loud, so let's take it down a bit. All right, guys, let's get it on. Боевая готовность номер один. Боевым сменам заступить. Лево руля. Руль лево. Алиманов кафейт статью. Вот он. Хыстка швидкость. Квартир генералы. Квартир генералы. Тут ты и посты не комбатимито. Action stations. Man your posts. Prepare the ship for battle. Укону стаматагело. Айдешьром. Destroyer. Ahead. Three thousand meters. Machinery noise. Torpedo. Engines. Full speed. Fire on the bridge! Fire on the bridge! The first thing! Steering is damaged! Vessel out of control! Damage control to firefighting crew! Control burning compartment! Fighting is tangled! Put the finish that's the loss! Hold on! Durable! I swear I'm on fire! Sight on the map is open! Yes, mean it! Distancia! This is it! Zdjęcia Fantastic guys. Fed fed freaking testic. I do I do like my naval battles. Uh, I do play regularly naval battles, even on the live streams I try to play them. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't make much I don't make videos on them, uh, but I want to start doing that. I love that. That I absolutely every day she's getting their own unique voice. That is freaking awesome. And as far as I care, they should have put more of the Japanese in that video with the voices. Because in naval, I believe they are a superpower in War Thunder. They say like, like America, Germany, Russia is the top three ground. I reckon Japan is the top power in naval. Uh, so yeah, freaking fantastic. I do, I do like that. Uh, so let's just go through this quickly. News from the sea. Fall in. We have pleased to announce the new post-war uniforms and naval crews in all gaming nations. Crews of the later ships, boats, in open gun mounts, decks, bridges, as well as those in range finding stations will now have authentic Cold War era uh, difference from Cold War era uniforms differ from World War II cruise ships. That is freaking cool. I, I'm, I'm a big guy. I'm a big person for a bit of finer details. And this, I think, is a British officer. Um, I'm, I'm a bit of a. I like the realism. I mean, I won't even watch a war movie. I remember watching one that was like a second world war movie and they were like using m60 patterns and they were using yeah it just it's like whoa okay where the hell did this come from um watch like five minutes of it and i just switched it off that is so cool guys i do like this more really nice really really cool 
Tides of Emotions. The loudest improvement for the Apex Predator update is the complete rework of voices, fleet officers, and crews during battle. Orders from the captain report for gun crews and ship damage reports are now heard like never before. As we heard that, more intense action is the louder. Okay, more intense action, then the crews become louder. More emotions the crews report at the uh, beginning of the battle. Reports, uh, shorts. Uh, okay, when they see the enemy, then they will scream out. Uh, first volleys, the guns are made. The reports become louder, more intense, and and the first hits on a player ship unleashes tides, waves of uh, adrenaline, or whatever that big English word is. Every nation speaks its own language with cultural emotions, features. However, we can hardly describe these bright and emotional shouts of, for example, the Italian battle crews when. Um, Admist the battle, you would better hear it yourself. By the way, you will be able to control the volume of crew reports or even minute them in the sound options. And here comes another one that, that, that people have been looking forward to. World War II aircraft carriers are making it to the game. So it looks like they're going to do this per era. Um, so later on, we might get more modern ones for more for modern planes and blah. So we'll go through the the ages. Some time ago, we presented the new AI carriers for Cold uh, Cold War era aircrafts. This time, it appears new models of World War II carriers in different nations that will be added to the game. In the upcoming Apex Predator update, please meet the IJN. Let me just ask someone that actually knows. How to pronounce Japanese words better than I do. So I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, hope I'm getting this right, but it's the Shokaku. Okay. Um, I just called the Mr. Logan Moody at our sister channel. He's pretty good with the Japanese words and all of that. And he came and explained with Shok Shokaku. Okay. HMS Illustrious for, uh, of the Royal Navy. The American USS Lexington. See, these are easy ones. These ones I know. The USS uh, Satan, what? Sabata. Sabata. That's quite a weird name. Um, anyone knows where that, how did it get its name? My bad, guys. It's the USS Saratoga. Sorry. Don't shoot me in the comments for that one. And the true legend, legend, the USS Enterprise. These AI aircraft carriers will act as naval airfields in aircraft gaming modes of different ranks. Welcome aboard, pilots. I don't know which one is which here, guys. Um, I'm just going to run. Uh, wait, we can actually check on the flags. Can't see the flag there. This one, I'm not sure. I think it's a Brit. Or well, could be Japanese. That's Japanese. Definitely, that's a Japanese one. This one, I think, could be a British one. I'm not sure. So, yeah, guys. That's basically it. Oh, nothing more. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about this. I think it's freaking fantastic. And keep well, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.